today we've got the unboxing video of Corsair Leader from Dan Versen Games. Uh, I'm very excited to try this game out um, and this is my attempt to unbox this really heavy game. Um, it's always nice to pick up a game box and it's, uh, it feels jam-packed full of stuff which is uh, excellent. Let's, uh, let, uh, Thing off. And let's see what we've got around the side. The front of the box features uh, the graphic of a Corsair with some black and white photos behind it. And on the back we've got a um, fairly comprehensive description of the game components and what the game is. Um, as I said, I am really looking forward to this game. I have tried some other games in this series. Um, but I think Corsair Leader um, will be one of my favourite games, as all the other ones I've tried have been print and play productions. Um, they've been good, but I'm looking forward to this. First thing we come to is a rule book. Uh, looks to be about 30 odd pages. Um, nicely laid out, with some nice clear examples so that's the rule book and then we come to some nice mounted maps now I should say that this was a Kickstarter game and uh, the stretch goals included mounted maps so what we've got is uh, probably one and a half mil card um, backed onto the uh, the tables and the charts here there's a dogfight table and there's a fold out board here. This will be the tactical display board. So if I just, that's probably the right way. Unfortunately, we can't get all of it, but um, it's a, a, small, a small board for most board games, but much larger than the print and play board that I had in Hornet Leader, which is uh, one of the other games that I've tried. Um, but it looks quite nice and in the center we've got a generic island um, of the Pacific where the target is going to be and interestingly enough I looked at the print and play of Corsair Leader uh, a while ago and the 360 degree approach to the target was not a feature in the early editions of this game. So this is a, a significant difference on the earlier print and play of Corsair Leader. And similar to all the other Leader games I've tried, there is a, a west approach, a south approach, east approach, etc. So we'll put that away and we've got some counter sheet. Wow, we've got a lot of counter sheets. Let's just have a quick look at that. We've so there's count Corsair sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, four, five, six, seven, seven Corsair sheets, and then we'll come back to those. We've got game title sheet one of one. I don't really know what that's for. These must be pilot um, pilot counters and weapon counters. But I'm not entirely sure how they differ from these ones which have got Corsair sheet 1 front and rear printed on the top of them. These ones are a bit different. But whilst I've got them here I'll just try punching one out. And that came out wonderfully uh, clean. Although if you can see the printing on that is right up towards the edge. But it's nice and clean, it came out nice and clean, and it is really quite thick cardstock they've used there. Um, thicker than you'll get in most war games, and it's printed on the reverse as well. I'll just slot that back into its hole to organise later. Um, and then you've got some player logs, quite thin paper. I'll be uh, looking at that photocopying or downloading a file and using something else rather than that. It's quite shiny paper 
the camera is not pro probably not going to pick that up too well. But this is where you'll be recording your um, your campaign uh, achievements on that, and then some reference cards. This one for island operations, and the second one for carry operations. I presume for when you're launching and uh, returning to either islands or carriers, they will come into play. So they're double um, double width reference cards, but only single sided. I'm curious if Ireland. So that's one curious. There's um, you've got two, but they could easily be double sided and only have one. But they've gone for the extra expense of having two there. And then you've got um, some campaigns. I presume these are. Um, yes. So you get a small graphic of whereabouts in the Pacific you're going to be and some descriptions around the campaign. So this is the Black Sheep Squadron and it's a long campaign apparently. Rebel there, New Britain, Battle of Midway, oh, I'll be excited to try that one out. That one's only a single page. So this is a short campaign I believe. Pearl Harbor Oh, there's some, some more Battle of Midway. That's good. Battle of the Coral Sea, Operation Vengeance, Guadalcanal, New Georgia. There's a lot. There's a lot of campaigns in here. Sumatra, Okinawa, Leyte Gulf. Wow. There's all sorts. Oh, and there's who's on. Oh my goodness. Keeps going. Wake Island. And then looks to be some uh, more reference sheets and instructions on how you can put your campaigns together and link them up. All of them come uh, single sided printing and they're on, I would say that's medium weight card, quite quite flimsy but uh, serves the purpose and uh, looks quite nice. More and more reference sheets, so some Pilot skill reference sheets there. Two ten sided dice, nice size dice, just there's not much you can say about dice. <laughs> but there you go. Oh wow, there's a, a cloth badge for the um, Black Sheep Squadron cloth badge. I presume that's a genuine badge for when they served in the Second World War in the Pacific Theatre. This was their squadron badge as most uh, military aviation squadrons will have their own their own uh, squadron badge, I presume, that's historically accurate. And then we've got eight decks of cards. So the Aces expansion is included here, which I, well, I'm a bit surprised to see that, and I'm looking forward to that. Maybe that's what the, um, the extra counter sheet was for, was for the Aces. Let's hope so. I'm looking forward to digging into what we've got in detail. Some uh, target cards. So these will go at the centre of your tactical display once you've gone um, inbound and uh, the defences will be placed. So um, I don't think they're all target cards, but we'll have a look at some of these decks in a minute. And we've got lots and lots of decks with uh, aircraft. Plastered all over the back, all over their fronts. So, and these look to be double-sided cards. So maybe there's a an element of damage if you flip the card onto the onto the other side. I don't know. Um, let's open up one of these decks. The uh, cards have got these handy pulls. That should, in theory, allow you to access the cards easier, but they never seem to have been printed correctly. This one seems to have... Um... There we go. So this is an unnamed deck of cards, and we've got Tiny Cherry on one side, Tiny Cherry on the other. Ah, okay, so we've got a Veteran on one side, and legendary on the other. So I presume in the other decks we've also got um, no, uh, ace tiny cherries, we'll have novice and rookie tiny cherries, experienced 
etc etc so they just describe different levels of pilot experience and my word there is a lot of uh, pilot cards and uh, I'll just check yep it's the same pilot on both sides just with different levels of experience so that's four decks of pilot cards there let's have a look at some of these target cards again my sausage fingers are going to struggle to get into these I wish there was a foolproof aha there we go it works so these look to be more pilot cards on this end of the deck but we've got target cards so there we go that's the uh, remainder of the pilot cards there and then we've got target cards and uh, if we have a look at some of these targets these will be obviously ground targets enemy troops conduct close air support um, try and uh, close the tunnels potentially carrier defense so lots of different variety of missions there each with their own um, attributes for the target and the approach i.e. how many defenders are going to be drawn in those different areas so there's the target cards um, there's more pilot cards and more target cards more pilot cards lots and lots of that let's have a quick look into this aces expansion oh that one was nice and quick I'm getting used to opening them now So we've got the Aces expansion, but they're not all Aces because we've got a newbie there and green on that side. So it's just more pilots, it looks like. More pilots, lots more pilots. What are these? Oh yeah, just more of the same. That is a lot of pilots. I don't think I will ever get to play with all of the pilots that you've been given in that box. Certainly for someone who's a bit of a Corsair um, fan there's a lot of uh, well there would appear to be a lot of replayability in that box I really like the inclusion of this uh, textile badge I've, uh, I've got a fair collection of uh, squadron badges and that will go nicely in the uh, in the collection and then if we put it all back in the box it does feel like the box is a good size for all these components there's a lot there are a lot of counter sheets you're getting in that in this game and uh, I did say we'd have a closer look at some of these counters so let me just pick so this counter sheet will um, looks like it's describing the enemy aircraft defences, um, radar symbology up there with a with a with a number in the corner, and then different attributes here to mark a stack, and then they're printed on the reverse as well. So these are ground targets, so they're multi-purpose tokens, which is nice. Um, it probably will make it. A little bit tricky finding the right the right token if you're called to find a specific token as you won't know whether it's a ground or a an air token you'll just have to flip it and discover anyway so that is Corsair leader really looking forward to trying this one out and um, unfortunately got a bit of spare time next week so this one is probably going to hit the table first as I don't have to arrange with uh, any game groups to get this one played so thank you very much for watching this video and if you want to read my thoughts on this game you can read that at wargamersneedfulthing.co.uk and there will be a link in the show notes below. Thank you for watching.